We are actually driving in the University of uh, Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology. Oh. Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology, <laughs> KNUST. Um, another name that we give it to it, another popular name is called Tech. Tech. Yes, technical, you know, because uh, one of their main mandates is technical stuff. Um, it was it's the second largest university in Ghana. And um, it was one of the dreams of one of the kings of the Asantes. Um, um, king Prempe always wanted to have a university. Prempe the second to always have a university here uh, in the Asante kingdom. And so in, during the time of Nkrumah, um, this university was built. So Kwame Nkrumah was a ver the, first vi uh, the first chancellor for this university. Now the chancellor for the university is the Asantehene. And another name for the Asantehene, he is called Otumfo. Otumfo. So this university has so many areas. Um, mainly its main mandate is to technical stuff. So engineering, sciences, so most of the sciences you find in here, engineering, um, construction, um, architecture, and all that. So they specialize in this. But over the years, uh, because of the demand in, the, in other areas, they have other humanities. So they also do other social sciences, political sciences, um, and other areas. So you can see the university now the very, very big one, um, the very big university. Most of our universities, especially um, the very earliest universities have big land. And you can see, so this is their totem. They have the eagle right here on your oh. left. Damn, and that's the main entrance <laughs> that we're actually driving. Yes, um, they have very beautiful uh, landscape. You can see that um, all around. Ah. Um, and also, when it, when it comes to, when you're doing any humanity stuff, they add some technical things to it. And um, one of the areas to see is their arts department. Uh, they have beautiful um, art sculptures from all that. So we have from painting to sculpture to what have you, all the things that you, you would expect. So they're very, very big, prominent university here. So people in Accra, people in Ghana, in generally, um, or we'll always want to choose um, tech or Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology if they have to want to go into any technical stuff or technical problem. So this is what it is. Um, you know, again, all the universities in Ghana are autonomous. They run their own stuff. Um, they coordinate their own stuff. But um, interestingly and recently, there was a problem here. Um, people who are following Ghana news would, would have heard. Um, the problem actually emanates from the fact that, okay, so before I continue, this is the arts department. You can see the paintings here. And there's a mixture of the influence here. Okay. So the painting on the wall is actually a mixture of how um, other cultures are affecting Ghana. So you see hip hop style of painting. And that is here as well. So they look at that and how it's affecting our music and what the new January that's coming out. So we have all that. So they try to dissect even even in the art. Yes, to see how it goes. So and this is the uh, business section. That's their banking section and all the other business they do here. And because this is the Asante uh, region, a lot of the arts, you will find a lot of Asante culture and Asante things are embedded in what they do. So one of the main, main things that you will see all over, and especially right now here, you see a lot of symbols. And uh, these symbols are Indian class symbols. You see a lot of Indian class symbols all around. Uh, they use it very, very much well. It has so many meanings. We'll talk more about Indian class symbols. Thank <laughs> you. 
And if you look here, that's the sculpture. See some of the stuff here. Everybody good? Okay. We're gonna see more um, up as we go. They're actually building a new statue of Nkroma and it's going to come up right very soon up here and a new statue of Nkroma coming up here and still under work. Can you see it? Mm -hmm. Under the trees here? And you have, so they do other sculpture around, see the stones? There's a sculpture. The man himself. Oh, okay. Uh, we have other vehicles right behind us, so. Oh, let's go, we go. <laughs> they said we gonna go. <laughs> okay, so that's one of the school buses, the university buses that's going on. So you can see some of the works that they do. That, um, university education is actually picking up here in Ghana and so um, most of the universities have to increase the number of lecture halls and um, spaces to accommodate the number the numbers that are growing um, even so they have to do it even faster because um, with the president's new introduction of free senior high school it means that we'll be having more and more students um, when they complete senior high school they want to go to the university they can go so this is um, I think that the government has to invest more into education because the um, education is actually the backbone of every nation um, and you need to be educated not necessarily in school in a school confinement but you need to acquire knowledge yes. which is very very important yes. so yes they also have um, all of residents you could look, you look behind us um, those are students who hanged up their stuff and all that so um, you can see lectures are ongoing, you can see students walking around. And then coming up on our right is one of their sports complex. Uh, they do sports and other activities. Got it. <laughs> Track. So sometimes they have all university games and this is where they have it. <laughs> Yes, they are. But yes, even still, they also run their own stuff. So it's a mixture of the university run its own stuff and also get support from the government as well. students working uh, projects and stuff like that you know you can see the architecture and construction and all that so we have
have some of the great minds in this school. And um, coming up in front of us is one, the, their library. It's called the Prepare the Second Library. It's so cool. Oh, it's so cool, man. <laughs> the way they stand and everything is so cool. Natural swag. <laughs> So you know, I was telling you about the fact that there was a there was an issue here on campus. It um, had to do with the fact that because of the, the demand of people to come to school, the government excuse me, the government was thinking of making some of the halls um, a mixed hall. So the traditional halls are all male and all female. But the government wanted to do a mix hall. But then you have the students and other alumni um, who don't want that. And so it became a problem, it became an issue. Uh, whereby the students went on a, a demonstration and some of the students went overboard. And they started burning stuff and then uh, destroying property. And so the university had to be closed and suspended. And so they just came back. That means going to disrupt a bit of their activity where they were supposed to write the, the end of semester exams uh, before the Christmas break. Mm -hmm. But now they have to go do the Christmas break and come back when they come back in January and then they come and take their exams. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, yes. What was the outcome? The outcome was, um, you know, because it was the school administration was dissolved. They had, the confrontation had even went further to do with the vice chancellor. Um, there was a new vice chancellor, so they had to dissolve it. <coughs> Sorry. And uh, the king of the Asante had to come in because he, he is the chancellor. So they had to constitute a new, um, um, what do they call it? Uh, a new committee. Um, that, would, that runs the university to look to probe into it, and then so the outcome is that um, the, they are they are yet to bring a, a unified finalization on whether to make it a mix or a, a single sex hall um, because they are still pushing, and then, then because of all that. So, but then um, there's peace now. So let's continue because some of the students actually want to go back to school, come back to class and learn, and those who did what they were not supposed to do, destroy properties have now brought cost to the family and then to students because now the cost is going to be spread up because the university is not free. You pay for your tuition and all that. So the cost is going to be spread and then they're going to bring more financial burden to Yes. So we are yet to finalize on, on that. Yeah. They are drainages. So they don't have like underground drainages? No, we don't. They are open, open drainage. Yeah. They run to water treatment plant. Pardon? They run to water treatment plant. No. They run all the way to the ocean. So just dump in the ocean? Yes. Or they run all the way to other streams and then they end up in the ocean. Yeah. So it's not good. No sewer. So we, for, for if, if it has to do with um, Mata, or like the, they, we, what we call it, we have tankers who come and then take that Mata, you know, for washroom, they do that. And then also we have what we call a system where it goes down the ground and people turn into biomass and stuff like that. But the, the drainage is for rain. And <laughs> um, when those who are around throw, when they don't have a good um, system and they throw, dirty water in the drainage, that's how, and then when they cook and all that they do, they throw it in the drainage and that's how come it smells so bad. And they don't clean it. And then, yeah. Yes. About how much is one year of the university? 
university in general. Um, I know it's different for every bachelor's every, yes, study, but yes. I mean like in general. The last time for me when I was in college, um, university, the Mohammed wants to contribute to this. So, yes. Yeah. So, um, the last time I paid, um, I was paying around um, 700 for tuition, 300 CDs. Uh, and then you have to pay your hall of residence and other stuff you have to pay. So, by the time you finish everything, you might be paying around 1,002. Um, that was. Yes, for a semester. For a semester? Yes. A thousand have, CDs or a thousand? Yeah, a thousand CDs. A thousand CDs, CDs yes. A semester? Yes. Okay. That ain't bad. Uh, and this was about six years ago. Okay. Now oh, well, it's yeah, now fee paying, I'm paying wait, 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 I can't hear him. about close to about 3,000. CDs? Yes, 3,000 CDs. Per semester? Per semester. Now? Yes. So depending on what you're doing, for for the humanities it's different, for the sciences it's different. Yes, some even pay more. But, but if you want to do your masters, you might be, you might be paying about seven thousand to fifteen thousand, eight thousand CDs. Yes. Okay. Yes. And how much does the aid cover for those who need aid? So um, we have a we call a student loan. Right. Um, for me, I never, I never went for students, you know? so I, I didn't have to pay much attention, attention to it. Yeah, I never went for student loan. I meant free government aid, not loan. Do you have free government aid or um, all loans? Yes, so they have sponsorship and scholarship, um, where the students, those brilliant but needy students, go, they, they don't pay anything. Okay. Yes. Probably what they would pay would be um, the place they will be staying because the university runs a system because of the the numbers uh, the university on campus cannot accommodate all the students so they have those who stay on campus um, so what they call it have it in in out out in so if you're lucky you will for first year you can be on campus the hall of residence and then when you get to a second year you have to look for an accommodation outside campus so second and third year and then fourth year if you're lucky you might get in so that you can concentrate on the finishing and completing and writing a report and then um, doing your final project okay. yeah is there in uh, a scholarship set up from the outside like an african-american scholarship anything like that? Uh, not that i know of it would be a good thing if there's something like that. <laughs> yeah. But I know that. Oh, yeah. But then there are other organizations here that have scholarships for Ghanaians. Uh, yeah. But we could set up yeah. a foundation yeah. for scholarships. Yeah. There's so much cheaper to send off. So we're actually in, in, in Kumasi. Yeah, in Kumasi, we're very 